Hey guys, it's Amy at Zoe back and I'm gonna start my reading vlog again. This is day seven of my vacation. So we're winding down to the end. So sad. It is Friday, November 27th and um, I don't have a whole lot planned today. So that is good. I kind of had a slow start and it's really foggy out. So, you know, I didn't really feel like doing much anything. I did film my um, December TBRs, TBR. <laughs> video. So that should be up and you should be able to see that. Um, again, I want to read all the books, but I can't. So I try to limit my number, but <laughs> I don't know what I'm actually going to read. We'll, we'll, we'll find out. Um, so today I don't, I'm going to probably go, um, I've just been playing on my computer a little bit to, uh, do all my stats and reviews and things. So I'm just going to write a little bit in my journal and then, um, I'm going to, Maybe get a chance to sit on the couch. I don't know. Cooper down here is pacing back and forth. I thought he was going to jump on me. Anyway, um, so we're, um, I have to go to, well, I don't have to go. I'm going to the book corner, um, the library run, um, bookstore, um, like used bookstores. So I have an appointment at 1030. So I'm going to go do that. And then I think I'll, I won't probably be out for much more than that. I don't want to go anywhere else. You know, that was just, I got an appointment, so there's not going to be many of us in there. At least that's what they say. So we'll find out. Um, that's probably the only thing I was going to do for Black Friday because I don't really want to <laughs> be out and about really. Um, I might go get a coffee or get lunch or something. I don't know. We'll see what I feel like and bring home. <laughs> Cause yeah. Anyway, so, um, I'm going to, um, as I said, finish up here and then hopefully I'll get to my reading of, uh, I have to read a chapter of Fifth Avenue, 5 a.m. And then I'm going to uh, try to focus a lot on um, Archangel's Son. But because I'll be in my car, I am going to listen to Red Comet um, by Heather Clark about uh, Sylvia Plath. So um, get back into that audiobook because I took a couple of days off due to I didn't drive very much. And so I try to get back into that. So anyway, that's it. I will check in with you later. few too many books but oops <laughs> hey guys so um <laughs> I bought 13 books you know with the whole month of me saying I'm gonna have a small book haul month yeah it didn't happen anyway point is is that I got 13 books for $27 so that was pretty good well let's see I'm just gonna flash the books up real quick so um, I got the radium girls um, the Dark Secret, The Stark Story of America's Shining Women by Kate Moore. I've had that on my wish list for a while. I picked up Don Quixote, um, but this is the um, version that the new translation by Edith Grossman. I have an older one that was in the Sp the Penguin um, Black Classics, so I have two versions. So I want to see which one works for me. I, I hear a lot of people like this one better, but I just got both of them. Just I got it was cheap. I just got. I just got it and I've been wanting that copy for a long time. I uh, took a chance on this on Pole Dark, um, the first book in the series uh, by Winston Graham. And I don't know anything about this. <laughs> I've never even watched the series, but it sounded like a good uh, historical. Magpie Murders by Anthony Horowitz. Um, this is definitely like a book within a book mystery. And I hear it's really good. I know some people really like his style and I, I wanted to try him. I got Isaac Storm by Eric Larson. So this is about the hurricane in 1900, I believe, in Galveston. So um, yeah, that was so devastating. So I've always, I've been wanting to read this forever and I never got a copy and I, my dad didn't have one. I was looking for it. Um, the Hum and the Shiver by Alex Bledsoe. So I saw this long time ago. It's been on my wish list forever. And I think it's kind of like a fantasy is what I remember. So I don't know, it's from Tor, so I'm guessing so. And I got two books from Mev Vinicky. Um, I haven't read her in so long, so I don't know where these fall in any timelines. They're just, one's a weekend, a week in winter, which is had been on my wish list since I heard about this like about six or seven months ago. So I've been wanting to read that. And then this one just happened to be right next to it called Chestnut Street, and that's the one I hadn't read. I said, I haven't read her since like the 90s. So I'm a little behind on whatever she wrote before she passed. And so, um, but I wanted to read that. I got A History of the World in 12 Maps by Jerry Broughton. So I love map books, anything with a map pretty much. 
will get me to read it. Um, and I love books that are focused around maps of some sort. So they're talking about, I think, um, 12 very important maps. And there's, oh, there's a lot of pictures in it. It'll be great. Um, Elizabeth G Gilbert's The Signature of All Things. Um, I've not read any of her fiction, um, but I, I did want to try one. So this one was there. And this is the one with about 1800, a botanist and her journey with the stuff that she does and then who she falls for, I think is religious. I don't know. I don't know a lot about it. Um, <laughs> the Mad Woman Upstairs by Catherine Lowell is, it says a, a novel of the last Bronte. So I just saw this on um, Emily at Nobel Novels. And so she was talking, she, I think she put it on the, her, her December TBR. I won't read this for a while cause I haven't read all the Bronte books, but I hear it's supposed to be a mystery of something that one of their descendants, last of their descendants finds out about something and um but it has like clues from the like from things that they find in the books so i'll have to finish my bronte project before i read that one but i just saw that so i bought it um then i got uh z a novel of zeal uh, zelda uh, fitzgerald by uh therese ann fowler so i had heard a lot about this at some point and i've been um wanting to know more about <laughs> about Zelda Fitzgerald. I went through a phase where I read all of um, F. Scott Fitzgerald stuff, except for one or, I think I'm still missing one or two, but I read most of them. And then the last one I picked up was Dreams uh, From My Father, A Story of Race and Inheritance by Barack Obama, ex-president. Anyway, the point is, is that I really um, never read any of his stuff and I wanted to read this before I read um, a promised land because I know that one's much more about his presidency and I wanted to read more of his stuff from earlier that he'd written so I just I never got around to it and it was there and it was really cheap so those are my that's my little book haul and uh I'll talk more about them in a bigger book haul but I just wanted to show what I got <laughs> so anyway <laughs> somebody take away my credit card and my ATM card and any cash that I have I just bought a whole bunch more books online. Black Friday sales are going on right now and of course some book things dropped so I bought one from Amazon. I bought three from Pals just now. <laughs> they had a sale too. It was a 20% off coupon sale thing so those I'll get to pick up at the store probably in a couple days but oh my gosh like <laughs> I am I told myself I wouldn't do this to my, if I always do it. I always do it. Anyway, so <laughs> I need to stop. So no more looking online for today for books. I mean, I do have some money coming that um, my job, they are very kindly giving us. Um, well, they're giving us $400, but after taxes, it'll be just over 200, whatever. Point is, they want us to spend it in the community, and Pals is in my community. The bookstore I went to today is in my community, so I think I'm safe. Amazon, not so much, but I didn't spend that much on that book, so yes, Cooper. So point is, is that someone needs to restrain me <laughs> from getting online anymore or looking for books. Anyway, that's it. I'll check in when, you, when I actually do some reading. <sighs> it is that kind of day. Hey guys, so it's about 3.15 and I finished my chapter in 5th Avenue, 5 a.m. And I've decided to continue. I have 40 pages left to the end of the book and I think I'm just gonna finish it out. I just, I, it's, it's, they just, this last chapter was pretty long but it was talking about the production of the actual filming of the um, graphics of Tiffany's. And so that was really fascinating. So I wanna see what happens after it's released and in the aftermath kind of thing of after that. Um, as I said, I got 40 pages left. I think I'm just gonna finish this. I mean, I'll still read Archangel's Son afterwards, but I think I'm gonna do that first. I just wanna get this done. As I said, it's it's very, it's, it's such a surprising book. Like I would say this year, I've had a few surprising books, like not that many, but this one, I'm surprised at how much I've enjoyed it and got out of it and stuff. So anyway, so I think I'm gonna finish that. So I just wanted to let you know that I'll get to Archangel's Son. Just, I'm going to finish the nonfiction first. <laughs> okay, guys, it's like two and a half hours later, and I finally finished Fifth Avenue, 5 a.m. It doesn't take me that long to read. I just watched a lot of booktube. Anyway, 
And I got distracted online for about an hour looking at books and I just need to stop. Anyway, <laughs> the struggle is real today. Today is not a good day for me because I might still buy some stuff. I'm still thinking about it anyway, but this was really good. So, um, I'm really glad I finished this today. I'm glad I finished it out. It was really good. Um, actually, this again, super surprising that I, uh, Fifth Avenue, 5 AM by Sam Wasson. Um, again, this is, uh, Audrey Hepburn, Breakfast at Tiffany's and the Dawn of the Modern Woman. So of the subtitle, I think it really is a good, uh, depiction of Audrey Hepburn in that part of her time of her life. Like, again, I didn't know anything about that. I knew her as an actress, but I don't know a whole lot about her. And then about the, book to, mo and to movie adaptation of Breakfast at Tiffany's and, and then the production of the movie and everything that went around. And all that stuff was fascinating to me because I don't really care about Hollywood that way. You know, like it, it just doesn't do any, like I hadn't really researched it or nothing, but I did buy a book that does relate to one section of this because I was so fascinated by that. But that'll be in my December book haul because it was on eBay. Anyway, there was a place I could get it. Point is, it'll be here in sometime in December. Um, so overall, I really liked this book. Super surprising um, because I bought this book kind of on a whim. I Again, I can't remember where I saw it, if it was just an Amazon ad or on Goodreads, and I just picked it up. I just bought it because it sounded interesting, and I'm so glad I did. It was an easy read. It was very fascinating. A uh, glimpse of the 50s and early 60s Hollywood. I just think it was it was much better than I thought it was going to be. I was kind of worried I would start this and then DNF it. So I'm so glad I finished it. So I think my nonfiction November is pretty much done. That was the last of the ones I was in the middle of, except for Red Comet, which is not going to get done. <laughs> I'll be lucky if it gets done in 2020. Anyway, um, and I didn't even listen to it today. I just, I didn't feel like it when I went to get to my car. So I'll have to start it sometime, probably when I start my commute again on Monday. <laughs> anyway, so, uh, uh, Archangel's Son is, I'm now going to return to this. Now this is the only physical book I'm reading at a time. So I'm back to my normal. Let's see how long it lasts. Anyway, so, um, cause this fall has been weird for my reading. Um, but anyway, so I'm only 50 pages in of 350. So again, I'm not going to finish this tonight. Even, I, I mean, I don't read that fast. So, but then I could focus on this tomorrow. I don't have to read any chapters for any other, um, nonfiction um, and I hopefully will get it done tomorrow. But anyway, so I'm going to try to see how I get done, how much I get done tonight and we will see. So it's just before six. So I'll have to eat some leftovers from yesterday here pretty soon. But anyway. Hey guys, so I'm gonna close out the video. It's after 10. Um, I almost made 100 pages, but I'll probably read a little bit more while this video is uploading. But, um, so I'm getting really getting into this. I'm just, after, <laughs> after I finished the other book, I was just like meandering, but it's really getting good. I'm really enjoying it. Um, again, it's, you know, um, paranormal romance, urban fantasy. And I, I love the banter back and forth between the two um, um, characters that are the leads in this one. And it's just, it's fun. And again, the world building is awesome in this series. Again, she's always very good at that. So anyway, really enjoying it. So anyway, um, I'm hoping to get a little bit more, but it's doable probably to finish tomorrow. We will see. I really want to because I want to pick up another book after this. <laughs> I want to pick up all my books. What are we talking about? How many books did I buy today? Yeah, let's 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 not do the count. Nope. Yeah. Anyway, so I will <laughs> close this out, and I will see you later. Bye.